What's going on, you gamers? Today we're going to be diving back into some Remnant 2, and this time we're going to be looking at the best and most powerful amulets in the game. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. So today we're back in Remnant 2 and we're looking at some of the strongest amulets currently in the game that can really help your character out to excel in either damage, survivability or just things that you should be looking at for because there's something special about them that makes them shine compared to a lot of the others. Now the first one we're going to be going over is going to be this one right here, the Indignant Fetish. Taking damage from enemies increases all damage dealt by 25% and reduces all incoming damage by 10% and it lasts for 20 seconds. Ideal for a tank build, ideal for dishing out a, dam a bit of damage for those who are like me and tend to get hit quite often. Over to our next one and one of my new favourites is going to be the Hyperconductor. This one is absolutely amazing for your skill builds because you're going to gain double skill charges which can be really handy on some of your stronger builds. Increases skill cooldown however by 50% and reduces your max power generation by 15% so it does have a bit of a trade off. For your heavy weapons it's going to double the heavy weapons ammo instead. A really unique amulet and one that can work amazing in certain builds. Moving on to another amulet that's amazing for your skill builds and that's going to be the silver ribbon. Increases your skill damage by 25% and activating a skill also grants you haste for 15 seconds. Easy to use and a nice little damage buffer for all of your skills. However, if it's not your skills you're after and instead you want a bit more of your mod damage, then the Golden Ribbon is going to be a great one to turn to. This one's going to give you 25% extra damage to your mods upon activating a mod itself, and it's also going to grant haste for 15 seconds. So again, pretty much the alternative to the last one, if you're after some mod damage and some haste in your build, this is probably going to be your go-to. Jumping over to our next one, and one that I have really enjoyed using, and that's going to be the Twisted Idol. If you're after a bit of damage mitigation, you want as much armor as you possibly can, as well as getting your encumbrance down, then this one is going to increase your armor effectiveness by 30% and reduce encumbrance by 15. Easy to chuck on a lot of builds and really good for those heavy armor sets. Over to a much more damaging amulet, and this time we've got the Abrasive Whetstone. This one's all about your bleed damage and now when you're attacking a bleeding enemy your crit chance is going to be increased by 15% and critical damage is also increased by a further 30%. Absolutely massive and a great DPS amulet for anyone off some crit damage. Another amazing amulet to look at is going to be Talisman of the Sun. This works in a lot of builds because there's a lot of good fire damage ones from your hotshot all the way over to your firestorm and if you were doing something like chucking on a ring of omens you can also get misty step from this as well. However as standard it increases your fire damage by 20% and your burning damage by 50% so just an amazing fire amulet if that's the element route you're choosing to go down. Jumping over to the navigator's pendant and this one's a really good well rounded one that's great for those builds that are focusing on survivability. It's going to grant you 20 health, 20 stamina and minus 10 armor encumbrance again. So definitely one you may want to look at if you want to be a bit more focused on your defenses as well as grant yourself a little bit of extra health. Going over to the matriarch's insignia and this one's going to be all about your melee damage. Increases your melee damage by 35% and it also causes all successful melee attacks to generate 10 stamina. So great for people that want to swing away in those closer range melee builds. Next up, and we've got one of the very best items in the game for providing you with out and out damage, and that's going to be the Anchor Power. This one works pretty much in every build, I want to say. Just wearing it grants 15% increase to all of your damage. However, if you're going to be consuming a relic, it's going to boost it up by another 15%, allowing you to have a massive 30% extra damage, all increased for 15 seconds just a really good overall damage amulet to use and great because you can proc it whenever you want by using those relics. Over to probably the best lifesteal amulet and this time we've got the full moon circlet. Range damage, lifesteal 3% of base damage, at full health it's also going to increase all of your damage dealt by 20%. So if you can manage to run, gun, keep yourself topped up with health enough then this will also be a constant 20% extra damage on top of that. Jumping over to one of the best healing items in the game and that's going to be Nimue's Ribbon. 
this item is just so good and effective at your healing builds because it's going to increase your relic healing effectiveness by 50% and also whenever you do activate a relic you're going to grant haste but this time for a whopping 25 seconds. If you're trying to survive pretty much anything you want to have an absolute abundance of healing in your build this is probably one of if not the very best item in the game. Next up and we have the energized neck coil. This one is just a really cool amulet to put on, especially with a lot of status effect builds such, such as off the top of my head probably something like an enigma or anything along those lines that's able to proc the explosion on this. Increased status effect damage by 25% and applying a damaging status effect creates a 5 meter explosion for 20% of the status effects full damage. Now it is only 20% but if you're able to apply it and the actual status effect you're applying does a lot of additional damage as normal then this one can be quite a sight to see with all those explosions going off. Our second to last one is far from one you should overlook and that's going to be the Void Idol. This one is just amazing for anyone that's into their gun builds. It's going to increase your reload speed by 20% and reloads only require 50% of the magazine from the reserves to fully reload, which is quite a mouthful to say, but basically you're going to save yourself a whole bunch of ammo with this amulet as well as being able to reload much faster. So pretty much great for any firepower build you're going for one that not a lot of people will see probably myself included and that's going to be the daredevil's charm this one gives you the most damage that you can possibly get on an amulet but there's an absolute massive trade-off and it's also really hard to get hold of you're going to gain seven and a half percent to all damage dealt and 3% movement speed but take an additional five percent damage for each piece of unequipped armor Basically, if you've lost all four pieces of your armor, you're going to get a whopping 30% extra damage at all times and 12% extra movement speed, but you are going to take 20% extra damage. So there's quite a trade-off, and this item can only be obtained from completing the hardcore clear of the Root Earth scenario, which is going to be an absolute nightmare for a lot of players, myself included, but you can do it on any difficulty. A really cool charm, one that I'll probably never see, but could be really worth having for someone who's got a lot of skill and doesn't get hit very often. Overtime. Now I know I said there's only going to be 15 in the listing, however there's one bonus amulet that I want to chuck on because I think a lot of people are missing just how good this one is and even with myself I've only just started using it. And that's going to be this amulet just here, the Shayed Bloom Crystal. This amulet is absolutely amazing and when I've been using it, it's out damaging pretty much all of the others. I would take this over almost any amulets if I'm going to be using a lot of gunplay but also a lot of elemental damage. This one gains a 30% damage bonus every 5 seconds, the bonus switches between physical and elemental damage. I thought the fall off would be there and it wouldn't work out too well but whenever I'm testing this out in the gun range and just whenever I'm taking down enemies and bosses this one seems to outperform almost every other amulet. So if you're into your elemental damage but you still like your gunplay or any type of other physical damage then this may well be one to look out for to chuck on your build and see exactly how much damage it gives you extra. But hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out. There'll be a lot more content from me. As always, Full Things Gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.